Hey there everyone, this is Rao Cal playing the Beebly's Quest, and today we're gonna be hunting down Humanibly B. Uh, so last time you'll notice that I put an effect when we saw, um, when we removed Humanibly's uh, underclothes, but then uh, someone pointed out something to me. Like, the reason why I did that is not due to personal disgust or anything, it's that uh, I was afraid of YouTube and how they would react to the possibility of, you know, 8-bit uh, uh, dinglings. However, it was pointed out to me that there was never any issues with the VIP2 cartoony- What? That's enough! I gotta kill myself now because of this. <laughs> yeah, uh, like, the VIP1 and VIP2 cats never cause any problems, so... All the videos are still on the internet, YouTube, somewhere. So, yeah, this is the fight we're gonna be encountering is gonna be completely uncensored. So, yeah, so to to get to humanably the second, because technically we already did the first, uh, you gotta win the three uh, little, like, uh, asteroid segments here. They get progressively more complex, obviously. Like, more difficult, maybe not more, well, more, they're more difficult because there's more stuff to them. And, I mean, the challenge comes from the fact that, you know, it's like, imagine you were playing Asteroids using not only a DDR pad, but a DDR pad that's, like, stretched out over three kilometers. Or there's just two of them and I'm an idiot. I don't know. <laughs> I was imagining this to be way worse than it ended up being. I completely forgot about the spike tunnel of death blood. How's it going? My name is Ventrico, home of Humanibly! Love to vent about. Time is relative, yo. Pass the bucket. Yeah, so stuff only move while you move. It's as crazy as it looks. Uh, it's kind of, honestly, super hard uh, to parse with my poor little brain here, so pardon me if I might die once or twice as I get fully acclimated with this. I dashed in the spike, but because it was caused willingly, it shouldn't count against me and my desire to take care of legless hands, alright? You have gone to understanding. So, in other words, it's all about managing your everything. Or, now you can try to do what I'm doing here and just press forward forever and hope it works out, but, spoiler, it's not gonna work out. <laughs> okay, so it only affects the rotodiscs, not the happy faces. Sadness abounds in the world of joy. Uh, okay, I was fine, I was good, I'm okay. Oh, oh there's a frog. And when he shoots... He magnetizes me! Oh, Mr. the Frog, you're just too nice. You gotta stop that right now. Yeah, so that means, you know, you better get some distance between you and Mr. the Frog. And also, you know, spikes galore. And just everything overall is just so interested in seeing you bleed. It's kind of sad how violent the world has become to me. Well, I don't know if you could say that it became that way, or if this is just basically uh, a facet of humanity that we just can't really ignore because it has been presented to us in video game form. Yeah, here I think you can have a good idea of what the gimmick is turning into. The video game wants you dead. Uh, and, uh, I mean, it's a free country, but I don't know if, and it is a free video game. So I guess on that aspect, it's allowed to, whoa, partake its desire to end my life as much as it wants. But it kind of intervenes with my own freedom to remain as much alive as I can possibly can in a given amount of time. Uh, this went real bad, in case you couldn't tell. How do they react to homing, I wonder? Ah, oh, you know what? They seem to like it a whole lot. Well, it turns out, I like it a little lot too. See, but against explodey faces, I'm safer with my normal gun because I've got the barrier effect. It's all about managing expectations, again. 
Alright, I'm just gonna walk in space around a little bit, but for, until it retracts. Man, that thing goes way further out than I ever dreamed I could ever achieve. Uh, spoilers. I don't know why, but it sounds like the right thing to say in this modern day of the modern internet. Where information is being exchanged in very careful way. I won't disturb you! I will just knock on your door and call your names and make a dance. Whoa, this level's short. Humanably, how's it going? Uh, so yeah, see, he's got, he's got, he's got pixels, and then he jumped on my head. Alright, Yvanably, it's you against me. I prefer, like, I'm aware that the homing doesn't do that much DPS, because it keeps getting caught up in his projectiles and stuff. But I like to use the mine missile, because I can just concentrate on dodging his stuff, you know? Which I am, like, I'm already doing a terrible job at dodging his stuff. Imagine if I also had to, like, try and aim for him. Like, it would just be, like, disaster piece caramel land or something. That's barely coherent as it is. Like, it uses word of the English language, so you could kind of almost call it an improvement in some way. But by how much? There can only be three arrows being slinged forth in the night. Uh, otherwise, you would just require to invent an object that doesn't yet exist. Conceptually, some things we're not just ready for. This room shape is really interesting to play around, giving humanably particular movement uh, options, you know? Like, he really flings himself all up in the place, and his projectiles. Oh! have a decent different kind of ranges. I am the worst! Thing in the universe. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do it though. It's in the bag. Every time that I fail, I fail at a point in time that is a little bit further on than the time before. So, uh, yeah, progress is probably defined in that fashion for some people. All right, you just go ahead and bounce around while I accidentally explode. Oh, dash. That is how you find success. In this world, if you don't try too hard. Oof. And sometimes you just jump across the screen and I am sad. And then I jump right into your stupid butt. Ah, stop it, man. You cause create contact damage to me, but I do not to you. Because he has these super huge jumps, but he interacts with the weird ceiling. He might actually genuinely kill me here. Like, I'm not trying to fail. As much as it might be hard to believe. Uh, I guess, okay, so like, it's, I think that sometimes he genuinely like tries to aim for you. That's why he does these weird cosmic jumps, so... Might be I'd be better off not hanging out on the literal other side of the screen all the time. Maybe that's the missing cog to the key of me trying to make this clock and find a boss fight work in my favor. I don't know, I'm kind of stretching the analogy here. Uh, that never happened. Uh, analogies are of this rubbery nature, like, you can try and stretch them all you want, they're just gonna bounce back to their original shape, unless you're really going to town on it, but I don't think it's what I'm doing right now. We're not in town, like, we're in this lair. There's no town levels. There's a city, there's a suburb. There's not that, like, in-between spot, uh, sadly enough. Maybe one day, though. Once we have fixed the world economy, uh, we can then fix everyone's picnic to actually go decently. And we have tamed the three layers of humanity! Finally, I may consider myself complete. Confused, hooray! <laughs> and I've tested it, yeah, I can just destroy myself and, and get out of here. You know what? I feel chipper. I feel complete. Let's go ahead and complete area two. This level was like I was expecting it to take longer to get there, and that once I got there, that it take long. Let's go in the suburbs. Look at that. There's a school teacher. I did do my homework years ago. <laughs> and there's the book. And there's the book book. Remember the book book? That was a weird, 
weird prediction of the future. And there's the Yardworm! He is so fun and he has a hat. Uh, sometimes he goes down, he can go down, it's pretty great. Remember the flowers from beyond, whoa, then I dashed by accident. Dashing has the stupidest, weirdest motion ever. And uh, it's very easy to do uh, by accident. Because all you need to do is press the direction and press both jump and fire at the same time. So if you're trying to do jump shots, don't be surprised if accidentally you do a turbo dash instead. Uh, the world is folly and that is the proof. The bookworms, they don't seem to be accomplishing a whole lot. Hey there, giant man. You are an enemy and you must be defeated because your large shoes are a distraction to me to try and complete my homework. No, it's all nuts about y'all the dogs eating them. I'm mostly concerned about old men shoe. As you should be. No one talks about it anywhere. You go on Facebook, you go on Potato, and they're like, they're all like, yeah, you know, so cups, colors, flamingos, I am the shoe guy. I mean, even though they grab about being the shoe guy, they don't even say anything about old men's shoes eating the paper rollers. And that's just, that is just disgusting, flying fly. You weren't even flying, you do not deserve to be called fly. It's a literal bookworm! Yeah! Have all the purpose! <laughs> Hello there, moon. Okay. Gotta shoot the moon and it becomes a platform. I forgot about that. I just shot the moon because it was there. Turns out there was a reason for it. It's pretty great. <laughs> oh no, gotta hurry up. Platform time! Using the fact that, okay, so I'm gonna use this. So you do hurt me, stupid tiny worm. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get, this is a you, you gotta get kind of, of segment. The moon stops for no one. Like, I, I thought I destroyed the moon before, but it was just merely a caterpillar composed of a different amount of moons. So perhaps the lesson here is that actually it's just that there's multiple moons. I, I, I hadn't considered that in my treaties. In, but uh, you'd think that the part where you're supposed to defend your thesis, they'd look at that and they'd point it out, right? But no, they didn't say anything. And then I blew up because I am not being careful. I should probably be more careful. I don't know, just a thought. Just, just a slice. You gotta slice up your thoughts in order to put them in container more easily, and thus it will be more easily digested by the population at large. That's just common sense, yo. You gotta do what's common and what makes sense. Otherwise, you're gonna be seen a not liar, and you won't show up on TV at that television show where you get pies thrown at your face, and everyone laughs not with you, but at you. And yet, it is still seen as a desirable thing. Welcome to the universe. This is the saddest place. Worms kinda ruining my mojo here. Congrats. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill out down here then. <laughs> Alright, now uh, can I destroy the flower? I wanna, I wanna, I don't wanna. Why are you attracted to the moon? That's the weirdest thing. This goes far. Yeah, okay. Wow, this attack has a reason of being and that's because this stops. Ah, it's, it's a weird motion to put when you're applying sunscreen to your head. Hey there. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm super glad to meet you, Jimmy John. I'm Rao Cow, playing the game Mimbibli's Quest and thus controlling the character known as Mimbibli, I think. It's the boss! Oh no, it's the Slug King, Lord of the, su of the Suburbs. He bounces around and then does shockwaves because he is a professional that way. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> I'm probably gonna die. That makes me a little bit sad, but it's, it's okay. The world is full of... Wow, you, you bounce for reals. But now that I know all your secrets, Slug King, victory's not gonna be yours, but it was gonna be now. It was all a data round, man. Don't you know how these things work? I love how the splashes of splashes don't actually follow any kind of decent trajectory. They just kind of uh, vaguely go diagonal, I guess, I don't know. We're gonna work out the details later. You know, we're gonna brainstorm them a little bit, and uh, we'll figure something out, don't worry. Don't, wor don't worry. Uh, yeah, but I'm still 
probably maybe gonna die again. It's, uh... Slugs are a powerful creature. Doesn't matter that it can be defeated by a mer salt shaker. Uh, they're still very powerful. They've got a lot of weight inside their small, gelatinous, snail-like bodies when you start to crash forward for no reason. Because, again, it's a very easy motion to do by accident. God dang it. Uh, God dang you to heck! And that is how we completed the game! We've come like we've destroyed all the dogs on the map. So obviously that means victory is ours to savor, to peel, and to juggle up high with our arms outstretched. Mind you, we're just gonna catch fire in the atmosphere. That's just routine procedure. And we get slug power! Yeah, look at that, we get all the colors, and slugs like to move around all over the place. I am now the Slug King! I have attained your title, and you shan't ever get it back. Alright, Crocodibly, guess I'll return to your castle. Seems kind of silly, that used to be a level, but now it's a level again! See, it still even has the, the little cross there. Uh, unless you mean your castle in World 1. But that would just be silly. Next time, we return to a level we already did! Because that makes sense. Frogadibly, he is my enemy. It said so in the video game.